Hello, this is Cedar Shaw and Isaiah Christopher, and welcome to the first episode of Cedar and Isaiah talking about NFL stats and statistics and standings for players. Uh, so this is top ten quarterbacks. What do you think about Tua being number one for Miami Dolphins? Um, I think that's a good spot for him. He did all right this year, but also, um, Tyreek Hill kind of carried him. He just throw it up and. Tyreek Hill would catch it. He had 29 touchdowns and rushing touchdowns. Is He didn't have any this year. So, yeah, he, that's a good spot for him. What do you think about Jared Goff being the number two for Detroit Lions? That's a good spot for him. He This year he had 30 touchdowns in the regular season, and that's good for him because uh, – Thirty touchdowns is better than the number one or the number one rank, which is Tua, and he carried them to the playoffs and to the nas- to the championship. But they lost to the San Francisco, which is sad. But yeah, he carried them really far. They would have won and probably went to the Super Bowl if they didn't sell. Oh, uh, what do you think about Dak Prescott being number three for Dallas Cowboys? Um, that's an all right spot for him. I mean, he's not that good. CD Lamb was great this year. He'd just throw it to him, and he'd most likely catch if it was a dime. So, yeah, honestly, I actually think that's a good spot. He had about 21 touchdowns. Or, wait. No, 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 he had... Yeah, he had, like, 21 touchdowns this year. That's a good spot for him, though. Well, uh, what do you think about Josh Allen for number four? Uh, Josh Allen was great this year. Um, He did really good. 29 touchdowns. Yeah, I think that's an actual good spot because he did have some great wide receivers, but, yeah, that's a good spot. Oh, what do you think about uh, Brock Purdy for number five? Brock Purdy? Um, No, I don't think that's a good spot. His wide receivers kind of carried him. Uh, he had so many good wide receivers, Brandon Ayuk, um, Debo Samuel, George Kittle, well, he's a tight end and stuff, but I think they just kind of carried him to success, but to make his stats look good, but yeah. All right, what do you think about Patrick Mahomes for number six? I mean, apparently in the season he doesn't do good, but once he makes it to the playoffs, he does good, and now they're going to the Super Bowl, so I think that's a good spot for him. He made his team go to the Super Bowl. What do you think about Jordan Love for seven on Green Bay Packers? He was sitting out for a while on the sideline. Or he was a bench third string, mm-hmm. and I think that's good. This year he's finally in, and he has 16 touchdowns, um, rushing touchdowns. No, four rushing touchdowns, my bad, and 32 this season. That's really good for a person that's been on the bench for a while, and he made his team go to the Super Bowl, lost in second round to um, 49ers. But, yeah, that's a good spot for him. He did not have 32 touchdowns this season. He had four rushing touchdowns. Yeah, but passing, yeah. Yeah, passing touchdowns, he had 32. C.J. Stroud for Houston Texans. I think he should get Rookie of the Year. He did great this year. Oh, good rookie. Made his team go to the playoffs as well. Um, They got taken out second round as well against the Ravens, but it's a good spot for him. Oh, what do you think about Baker Mayfield? Take him out. Nine? Take him out of this list. He's not that good. He He's old and kind of sucks now, but I guess... You could say that he's he did all right this season. I mean, he did carry him to the playoffs in second round, but obviously lost to the Lions. But, yeah, I think you should bring him down to, like, ranking a number 12. What do you think about Trevor Lawrence being on number 10 for Jacksonville Jaguars? I don't like that. Um, He did all right this season, 21 touchdowns. Um, I just think they didn't even make it to the playoffs. He didn't really do good. Oh, uh, what do you for now? It's top ten wide receivers. What do you think about Justin Jefferson for number one? Um, he did all right this season. He wasn't as good as he was last year, but I think everyone just likes him because of his cool dances and stuff. And I think that he's really good. But I don't 
think he should be at number one. Oh, what do you think about Tyreek Kill for Miami Dolphins? At number two. Uh, I think that's a good spot. He um got a lot of touchdowns this season because Tua, he, had, he was a pretty good quarterback, and he just threw him to him and he caught him for a touchdown. Uh, what do you think about DK Metcalf for Seattle Seahawks? For number three, uh, that's a good spot. He's really strong. He's fast. He can score within a drive if you just throw it up to him. Uh, eight touchdowns this season. But, yeah, I think that's a good spot. What do you think about Jamar Chase for four and Cincinnati Bengals? I don't think that's a good spot. He he was all right this season, but his quarterback got hurt in, like, the third or fourth week. And then he has Jake Browning, which isn't that good. And he's really – he really didn't get that much passing to. And if he did, there were terrible passes. And, yeah, I, I don't know if that's a good spot. Uh, what do you think about Stefan Diggs at number five? Um, that's arguably uh, – Actually, yeah, I like that. Josh Allen is a great quarterback for him, and he he has a lot of good routes, and like he can catch and score a lot. So yeah, I think that's a good spot. Uh, what do you think about AJ Brown for number six? They didn't end up making it to the. Well, no, they made it to the playoffs. Wait, did they? I don't think so. Wait, I don't think they made it to the playoffs. Actually, I don't think they made it. So. That's what's bad, but A.J. Brown did, uh, didn't do that well this season, as he has in the past. Um, oh, what do you think about Cooper Cup for number seven? Um, that's a good spot for Cooper. Er, actually, I take that back. I lied. Um, take Cooper off the list. He's old, washed, isn't good. Then he used to. 2022 was his season that he was great. Can't catch. Well, he can catch. He's just not as good. But, yeah. He's, he's, he's also super hairy. What do you think about C.D. Lamb for number eight? Um, That's a good spot for C.D. No, no, no. Actually, you should bring him up, like, at least number two. He did great this season. Um, he was a really good wide receiver this season, best year by far, probably. And yeah, I think that's you should take him up. He got twelve touchdowns this year, but only thirty-two in his career. Uh, what do you think about nine for Debo Samuel for San Francisco? Mm, Debo Samuel did all right. I mean, actually, that's pretty good for him. Uh, he's not really a known wide receiver by much people, but that's a. Yeah, that's a good spot for him. He had a lot of good touchdowns. What do you think about Amon Ross <laughs> St. Brown for number 10? Um, that's a, I think that's a good spot for him. Um, He did pretty good this year. His quarterback was great and, um, yeah, carried them to the playoffs. So, yeah, it's a good spot. Uh, For top 10 running backs, what do you think about Brees Hall at 10 for New York Jets? Good rookie. He was great this season. Uh, 591 yards for a rookie. Nine touchdowns. Yeah, I think that's a really good spot. What do you think about Travis Satini for number nine? Um, yeah, he did, he was great this year. Probably best player on their team. A lot of good yards. Uh, yeah, 11 touchdowns. Or 16 touchdowns. But, yeah, I think that was a good spot. Uh, what do you think? think about Jonathan Taylor for Indianapolis Colts at number eight. Honestly, he's getting old. He's not really known as well as he used to be. He's not that good anymore. Only 153 yards That's this year. That's terrible and seven touchdowns, so I don't think he's as good as he used to be. It's not terrible, but it is terrible. Uh, what do you think about Austin Elkler for number seven? Um... 436 yards, that's pretty good for a running back. Five touchdowns, that's also re- good. But um, I think he should go a little up. Like, I think he should be, like, at least number five because he did all right this season. What do you think about Elvin Cabrera for New Orleans Saints? That's number six. Yeah, that's a good spot at number six. He, 466 yards this year. 
Five touchdowns. That's a good spot for me. He did pretty good this year. What do you think about Nick Chubb for Cleveland Browns? Uh, he got hurt. I don't even think he should be on this list. We barely saw him this year. He got hurt in, like, third or fourth week, but, yeah. So, yeah, I don't think that's a good spot. He had zero touchdowns this year. That's yeah, crazy. I think they should take him off. And he only has four in his career. Yeah. I don't believe that, but he's just a yardage guy. Forty and eight in his career. Forty-eight, but it says four. Uh, what do you think about Derrick Henry? Uh, Derrick Henry used to arguably best be one of the best running backs, but now that Jameer Gibbs is in the league, um, I don't think that's a good spot for him. Uh, number six, he's not as good as he used to be. What do you think about three for Josh Jacobs at Las Vegas Raiders? Josh Jacobs did really good this year. He was great. Um, probably one of his best years for running, and yeah, 564 yards. That's the most on the board in fit or 14 touchdowns. Yeah, I think that's good for him. What do you think about Shaquan Barkley? Um. Saquon Barkley, best player on the team, arguably by far. He, they have no good players. They just hand the ball to him. He scores a lot. So, yeah, I think that's probably one of – that's, like, a really good spot for him. What do you think about Christian McCaffrey? 24 touchdowns um, this year. That's just crazy. Best year by far uh, as well. He did great this season. Best running back. Yeah, that's a really good spot for him. Uh, what do you think about Travis Kelsey for top 10 tight ends? Number one, Travis Kelsey for top 10 tight ends. Uh, you know, he's getting old. He's not as good as he used to be, but, I mean, he did just catch a lot for the championship game to get into the Super Bowl or whatever. So I think that's a pretty good spot for him, actually. I take that back, but, yeah. What do you think about George Kittle for San Francisco? George Kittle had a great year this season. A lot of good catches, a lot of good touchdowns. But, yeah, I think that's a good spot for him. What do you think about Mark Andrews for number three? Mark Andrews, yeah, I like him. He's just they – don't, they don't really throw to him as much as they used to. So, can't really – because they have better wide receivers than tight ends. So, I don't know if yeah. you should take him off. He had more TDs than – Kelsey this year, too. Wow. What do you think about TJ Hawkinson's? TJ Hawkinson is getting really old. He's, like, um, not as fast as he used to. Doesn't get as many touchdowns, but he does have a lot of yards this season and five touchdowns, so I, I think he can stay there for now. What do you think about Sam Laporta for number five? A great rookie. Ten touchdowns for a rookie. An 889 yards for a rookie. That's really good. I think you should move him up. He's a really good tight end. Great this year. Oh, what do you think about Darren Waller for New York Giants? At number six, Darren, I mean, he's like, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I think that's a good spot at number six for him. He only had one TD this year, though. Wow, one TD this year. One touchdown this year. It's not great at all, but 552 yards, that's pretty good. But, yeah, that's an all right spot for him. What do you think about Kyle Pitts at number seven for Atlanta Falcons? That's a good spot for him. Six or Three touchdowns this year and 667 yards. Yeah, that's a good spot for him. What do you think about Evan Ingram? For I, I like Evan Ingram. He's a, I think he's a really good tight end. Um, I, you should up him maybe a little. Um, yeah, I think that's a good spot for him. What do you think about Pat Fryer? He did get hurt a little in the beginning of the season. He came back though, and he showed us that he was comeback of the season, and he got a lot of good touchdowns and yards. So yeah, he only had two touchdowns and three hundred and eight yards. He should not be there in my opinion because. What about Dalton Schultz? He had ten TDs, five TDs. Oh yeah, number ten, Dalton Schultz. T- um, Houston Texans. Uh, they they were great this year. Good good um quarterback, good team, and yeah, I think that's a good 
spot for him, but I think you should put him for like number eight or nine and move um the other Pat Fryer move down a little or whatever. But well, yeah, I would put Pat at like fifteen. Not too good. What do you think? Uh, for top ten. Top uh, ten defensive, defensive players. Uh, Nick Bozo for number one. Nick Bozo. Um, San Francisco Forty Niners. Uh. He did great this season, a lot of good sacks, 10 sacks. Yeah, I think that's a good spot for him. And 19 assists. Uh, wow. What do you think about Michael Parsons? Micah Parsons, that's a good spot. He um, he plays all over the field, or at least he used to, but now that he's mainly like um, a lineman, that's a good spot. He get, He had 14 sacks this season. And 28 assists, that's great for um him. What do you think about Miles Garrett? Okay. He wasn't as good as he used to be. Nine assists, 14 tackle or 14 sacks. It's really good for him. So, yeah, I think that's a good spot. Uh, what do you think about T.J. Watt? T.J. Watt's getting old. I think he might retire soon. He's not as good as he used to be. 19 sacks, that's pretty good. 20 assists. But, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's a good spot for him. What do you think about Max Crosby? Max Crosby was great this year. I think you should up him up or put him up more on the list. 14 sacks, 35 assists. That's pretty good. Uh, What do you think about Hassan Reddick? Hassan Reddick, uh, only 11 sacks and 9 assists. That's all right, but yeah, that's an all right spot for him. What do you think about Brian Burns for Carolina Panthers? Uh, eight sacks, probably the best player on their team. 18 assists because the Carolina Panthers kind of aren't that good this season. But, yeah, that's a good spot for him. Uh, what do you think about Matthew Juden for New England Patriots? At number eight, Matthew Juden. Um, I don't think that's a good spot for him. Take him down off this list. Four sacks this season. That's not as good as the other ones we've seen. Three assists. That's not as good either. So, yeah, I don't think he should be up there. <clears throat> what do you think about number nine, Alex Highsmith, Pittsburgh Steelers? Uh, um, yeah, that's a good spot for him. Seven sacks, 20 assi- 23 assists. So, yeah, it's a good spot. What do you think about Daniel Hunter? Yeah, I do like him at 10. 16 sacks. I think you should probably up him up because he has more sacks than a lot of people on this list. And 29 assists, so yeah. I think you should move him up on the list. And a lot of TOTs. Yeah. So, that's the end of our podcast. podcast, and we'll see you next on our next video. So, bye.